Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, uh, inspiration, guidance, advice, and uh, we've been speaking uh, in recent videos about uh, both Lashon Hara, uh, malicious gossip, and Saras, the disease usually translated, mistranslated as leprosy, which is the punishment uh, Tsaras disease is a punishment for Lashon Hara. So in thinking of Tsaras and Lashon Hara, uh, I am reminded of the words of um, Rav Meir uh, Yechil Megustinin. And he offers a bit of a, an insight with respect to the Lashon Hara and to the uh, role of the Kohen, the priest, in determining whether or not something is pure or impure, tahar or tameh. And um, he says that when someone is accused uh, of spreading Lashon Hara, the immediate knee-jerk reaction is to say, well, it's true, I'm saying the truth, and in civil law, in English law, especially the laws of Canada, the United States, Australia, Britain, descended from the English common law. In the law of defamation, truth, technically justification, is a defense to defamation. The theory being we don't want to discourage something that's true. In Judaism, in Yiddishkeit, exactly the opposite. Whether the statement is true or not is largely irrelevant. It's still Lashon Hara. Now, there's a technical difference between if it's true, it's Lashon Hara, and if it's a lie, it's Motsi Shemra. I don't want to get into that, but what happens is this. That knee-jerk reaction to say that something is true and kind of whitewash the, uh, uh, the deal, um, he tries to conceal his evil with this facade of piety, and that's why you bring him to like the the analogy of the uh, of the Matsura, the the person suffering from Saras, You bring him to the Kohen. Not only is the Kohen trained in the signs of uh, Saras and this, but he he makes this observation: the Kohanim, the priests, are descendants of Aaron, who uh, loved peace and pursued peace. Aaron was a very pious person. And in his bringing about peace, if, for example, two, two people were in this horrible disputation or an argument, what Aaron would do, Aaron Akai, what he would do, is he would, in order to bring about peace, he would bend the truth. He would go to one of the people and say, you know what, the other person, he... He really wants to, to make peace. He really wants to make amends. Then he goes to the other person. He says, you know, the other guy, he really wants to make peace. He wants to make amends. This softens the, the, the litigants, the, the disputants up, and maybe causes a bit of a, an introspection, a bit of embarrassment. Uh, and he's able to bring peace and resolve the dispute with this little white lie, I guess we would say in, mar in modern parlance, a little white lie. And um, because Aaron was able to bend the truth and bend that far in order to preserve peace and to have things go well, um, this was his version of a lie, um, we know that the Kohanim, the, the, the priests who are descended from Aaron, when they say that something is tame, it's, it's impure, it's contaminated, we can take him at his word. Because if there was a way to find for the other way, to bend for the other way, the Kohen would do it. But if he can't, he can't. And that's why we take his word um, as word, both in Saras and modern day in, in, in Lashon Hara. Um, and repeating the lessons of previous videos, 
have to be very, very careful with our words. Very careful. Um, and don't be so caught up with that knee-jerk defense. Oh, well, it's true, like you're some big righteous person. Oh, I'm, I'm merely telling the truth. I'm doing a good thing. It's not a good thing. Sometimes if it's true, it's worse. Because with Motsi Shemra, literally when creating a bad name with a lie, at least you can deny, oh, it's not true. I never did that. I'm not a thief. I never stole that. I, I never did this. I'm not a... When someone is spreading Lashon Hara, and it's true, the person being defamed has no defense. He's caught with both hands in the cookie jar. It's worse that it's true in Judaism. It's worse that it's true. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.